Hi everyone, um, so we're going to do a stretch class today, a bit different, same principles of Pilates um, but focusing on the stretch element of the class rather than the planks and the press ups and all that, so a bit more gentle, um, you'll be able to increase your flexibility, improve your mobility with this and yeah, see how you like it. So come up to standing, we're going to start hip width apart out with your heels, out with your toes, make sure your hip width apart, you're comfortable. Just going to do a short warm up because um, it's best to stretch when you've got warm muscles to avoid any injuries. Soften your knees, shoulders back and we'll start with your neck. Inhale, on your exhale, lower your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale, come up to centre and pause. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. A nice deep breath. You should feel a stretch along the side of your neck. Let's go for one more. Bring it back up to your centre. Moving into some pivot swings now. For your spinal rotation, basically warms up the whole body, your legs and your arms are moving too. Step your feet slightly wider. We're gonna bring both hands round to your left hand side and kick out your right heel. So you're twisting the body. Then you're gonna come up all the way round and lift your arms up to shoulder height and kick out your left heel. And then up all the way to the top, kick out your right heel. Back to your shoulder height, God, I'm clicking a lot, and then back down low again. Okay, so let's just move in time with your breath. Get a nice smooth swing from side to side. You've got three moves to get to the top, and three to come back down. Breathing's just inhale for one, exhale for the other. Really twisting, reaching as far around as you can, bringing your eye line with you too. Let's go one more time to the top. And then we're gonna go low, around to your right, up to your shoulder height on your left, up above your shoulder height on your right, back down to your shoulder height, and then back down low again. So you just swapped it around the other way. Get that nice smooth movement, get rid of any tension, keep breathing. Should feel quite nice, shouldn't feel any huge stretch. Just a good little warm up mobiliser. Let's go one more time to the top. And take it back down, round to the front. Hopefully you're not too dizzy after that. All right, coming back to your feet, we want to step them wider again. So really wide now, wider than your shoulders. We're gonna point your toes out 45 degrees, going into some squats, but these are gonna be gentle squats. Don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, let's inhale. We're gonna sink down, keeping the chest up, keeping the knees back. So you'll feel that your knees want to come forward. Keep them pressed back. We're going a third of the way down into a squat, so not as far as you can go. Then on your exhale, push into your feet, squeeze into your glutes, squeeze them the extra at the top, so come all the way up. Then inhale, coming down, we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Exhale, pushing into your feet and squeezing at the top. Inhale, deeper again. Exhale, coming up and squeeze. Do whatever you want with your hands. This feels normal for me today. Well done, so you come in a bit deeper each time. Keeping those knees pressed back, trying to keep the chest up. Squeezing at the top. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you come up. Lovely, let's go all the way down into your squat now. We're gonna lift your heels one at a time. So you're gonna keep this position with the body, shoulders aren't coming up. You're gonna lift your left heel up and lower it back down. So the upper body doesn't move over to your right heel and down. 
It's just the heels lifting. You'll feel that burning into your quads. Good, so you can exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Nearly there, well done, one more each side. Press it down, inhale, exhale, bring it up to the top, shake it out. Well done. That's probably the nastiest thing we're gonna do for the whole time, so that's over with now. Let's go into some roll downs, which we do in Pilates. Um, really good for your spine and loosening all that stuff up. Also great for backs of your legs, stretching your hamstrings out. We'll take your right over your left. The wider your feet are apart, the easier it will be for balance. So pick where you wanna be. Soften your back knee, shoulders back, and we're gonna inhale. On your exhale, bring your chin to your chest, your shoulders forward, let your arms hang in front and you're gonna roll it down until you find your point of tension. So you'll probably feel it in your back bum cheek or hamstring. And let your, hand, your hands and your arms just hang there. Deep breaths. As you breathe, you might loosen up and be able to come down a bit further. And inhale, exhale, draw your belly button up, push into your feet, restack your vertebrae, one on top of the other, all the way back to the top. And then shoulders back when you get there. Let's see if you feel any different on the other side. So left over right this time. Same principle, so feet, wider your feet are, the easier it will be for balance. If you feel wobbly, just widen that gap. Soften your back knee, even weight in both your feet. And inhale, exhale, chin to chest, shoulders forward, arms hanging in front, and you're gonna roll it down. Oh, this side's tighter for me. See how it feels for you. You might even feel it in a different area of your leg. Good one for checking where you are the tightest. Deep breaths. And inhale. Exhale, come up. Same speed, keep it controlled. Pressing into your feet, restacking your vertebrae. And shoulders back at the top. And hook your legs. Hip width apart with your feet. We're going to roll it down, we're just going to hang there and uh, loosen off your lower back a little bit. So let's inhale, exhale, chin to chest, shoulders coming forward again, same procedure, roll it down, knees soft, till you find that point of tension, and then we're going to hold onto your elbows. So hold onto your elbows, you can give it a little rock side to side, up to you how much of a bend in the knee you've got, so don't feel like you need to have straight legs. Certainly don't lock out your um, knees. And then just deep breath. This should feel really nice on your lower back. Come to the centre, release your hands. We're going to walk out. Let me tuck myself in actually. We're going to walk your hands out into a down dog. So walk them out. You want to have your bum right up in the air, thinking sort of a triangle shape with your body, pressing your heels down towards the floor, pushing your chest towards your thighs. Straight legs if possible, but you can also have bent legs here too. See how you feel, and then we're going to pedal your feet out. So you're pressing one heel down and bending the opposite leg. And this is stretching out your calf muscles. Make sure you've got a nice wide spread with your fingers so you're not wobbling around. Keep breathing just in time. And the aim is to get your heels as close to the floor as possible.
Okay, let's press both heels down. Nice deep stretch in the calves, really push your chest towards your thighs. And take a deep inhale. On your exhale, we're going to roll it through, bring your knees down to the floor. So you're coming onto all fours. Lovely. Let's loosen up your back a little bit more now. Make sure your hands are below your shoulders, knees are below your hips, fingers are spread apart. We're going to do some cat-cow movements, which you've probably done before. Let's inhale in the centre, so neutral spine, pressing into the mat, make sure you're not dipping down. And on your exhale, we'll go into the cat stretch first of all. So chin down to your chest, push into your hands and your knees, round your spine. It should feel really nice in your upper back, stretching your shoulder blades apart. As you're ready to inhale, bring your spine back to neutral. And then on your exhale, you're going to dip your tummy down. So the opposite move, this is the cow. Dip your tummy down, still pressing into the mat, lift your head and you should feel that stretching out your abdominals. When you're ready to inhale, we're coming back to your neutral spine. And then exhale to cat. We're going to alternate between the two in time with your breath, inhaling to centre. Exhaling to go into either the cat or the cow. Inhaling to your neutral. This is great for your um, spinal mobility as well. Keeping all your vertebrae moving. Also good for your intestines in the cow position. Stretching those. Don't feel like you have to be static in these movements either. You can rock it around a little bit. See how you feel. If you've got a particular area that feels tight, you can focus on that. Just do whatever feels good for you. And let's go for one more in each direction. Last one. Really stretch and then release. Lovely. Walk your hands towards your knees. We're going to bring your chest up. You want to be towards the back edge of your mat, so readjust if you need to because we're going to bring your leg out in front. And um, let's start with your right side. Bring your leg all the way out in front, nice straight leg. Okay, we're going to bend this front leg and come into a hip flexor stretch. So we're stretching out the front of your left hip. So you're bringing your hips forward. What you want to bear in mind is that this knee needs to stay above the ankle. So you don't want this knee going over. If it is, you can walk your foot forwards. Also, don't overarch your back. So quite often, you'll see people come really far forward with their hips here, and they'll be arching their back to really press them forward. What you want to do is tuck your pelvis underneath, then come forward. You'll find you won't be able to go quite as far, but you'll get a better stretch in your hip flexor on your left hand side. So really tuck your pelvis underneath, squeeze your glutes, and then come forward and you should feel that deep stretch. Good, so let's take a couple of breaths. We're gonna do this as a, as a dynamic move, alternating with a hamstring stretch. Let's inhale. On your exhale, push into that right foot, lengthen the leg back out, lift the right toes, then we're gonna bend over that leg. You might already feel the stretch in your hamstring with your chest lifted. If you want to increase it, bend over that leg. You're trying to stick your bum out behind you. You should feel a lovely stretch all the way along the back. And inhale, exhale, we're going back through to that hip flexor stretch, roll through that front, uh, front foot, tuck your pelvis underneath, lean forward with your hips, so you feel the stretch in your left hip flexor, breathe. And 
and back to your hamstring. Inhale, exhale, pushing into that front foot. Lift the toes, stay here or bend. Deep breaths. Inhale. Last time, hip flexor, tuck the pelvis, lean forward, check that knee is still above the ankle. Breathe, don't overarch your back. And inhale. Last time for your hamstring. Exhale, lift the toes and bend over that leg. Try and keep your hips level as well. So you're drawing this leg backwards. Lovely, bring your right hand to the inside of that right leg. We're gonna swing that leg back behind you. We're gonna go into pigeon stretch on that side for your glutes and your outer hip. So let's bring right knee to right wrist. Put your right foot out in front of your left knee and then we're going to slide back with your left leg. So you're in this position, you should start to feel a stretch in your right glute, also your right hip, outer hip. Try and be level with your hips as well, so you don't want to sit down on one side, try and keep it level. And we're going to do this as a developmental stretch, we're going to increase the flexibility here. When you're ready, we're going to inhale. On your exhale, you're just gonna sink into this stretch. You're bringing your tummy and your chest towards the floor. It's up to you where you wanna go with this. If you're feeling a strong stretch in this position, then just stay here and breathe. But if you want to deepen it a little bit, let's take an inhale. On your exhale, we're gonna come down to your elbows. Keeping those hips level. Option to stay here, or if you want to increase again, we're going to inhale. Exhale, lengthen those arms out in front of you and bring your chest as close to the floor as you can get. So you don't want to be rounded and trying to get your head down. You want to focus on getting the chest down. And then breathe into it. And inhale, slightly loosen it off, and on your exhale, we're gonna go into it again. See if you can get a bit deeper. And one more time, inhale, come out of it a little bit. Exhale, see if you can deepen. And inhale. Exhale, come up nice and slowly, walk your hands towards your body. And then we're going to unhook that right leg. Oh, it's good. Give it a little shake side to side. Right, so we're going to do that same sequence on the, on the left side now. Make sure you're nice and even. So starting at the back edge of your mat, walk your hands towards your knees. We're going to lift the chest. Hopefully I don't have bits of mat stuck to my face now. Left leg's going to come out long, right in front of you, so nice long leg. And then we're going to sink into that hip flexor stretch for your right, uh, front of your right hip. So we're going to sink forward with your hips, tuck your pelvis underneath, so make sure you're not all bent up, tuck your pelvis, 
bring it forward until you feel that stretch in your hip flex. You might also get it in your quad. Check your knees above your ankle, not over. Doesn't matter if it's slightly behind. You just don't want to put that extra pressure on your knee. Then deep breaths. And inhale. On your exhale, we're going to go for that hamstring stretch. So lengthen up the leg, bring the toes towards the ceiling. Either stay here if you're already feeling it in the back of the leg, or you can bend over the leg and draw that hip back. Breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale, we're rolling it through, back into your hip flexor, tuck the pelvis underneath till you feel that stretch. You can feel that. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, hamstring. Lengthen the leg, toes up, see if you can get a bit deeper. Find your strong stretch and inhale. Exhale. I'm going to try and relieve any tension. You don't want to be really like tensed up when you're stretching, otherwise, you won't get a good stretch. That's what the breathing's for. Inhale. Exhale, last time through to your hip flexor, tuck the pelvis, feel that stretch, breathe. Inhale, last time for your hamstring, make the most of it. This again is about bringing your chest down rather than you'll see quite often people curling around to get their face to their knee. You want to keep your chest lifted. You'll feel it much deeper in your um, in the belly of the muscle then. Inhale. Bring your left hand to the inside. Swing that leg back behind you. And then on all fours, let's go into your pigeon for your left hand side. You want to come a little bit further forward so that you've got room behind you. Left knee to left wrist. Tuck that right foot out in front of your right, and uh, your left foot out in front of your right knee. Oh no, I was doing so well. Slide your right leg out behind you and make sure your hips are level. You can also wiggle this foot up a little bit to get a deeper stretch. Good. Breathe into it. And then when you're ready, if you want to deepen it, you can come down on your exhale to your elbows. You should feel this in the left glute and outer hip. And if you want to deepen it further, bringing your chest down, lengthen your arms. Deep breaths. And inhale, loosen it off. Exhale, see if you can deepen. enough. And exhale, deepen. Good. 
And one more time. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, push yourself back up. Oh, unhook that leg if you can. And then we'll go child's pose. So big toes together, extended child's pose, knees as wide as your mat. We're going to sink your hips down to your heels. And then chest comes down, give it a rock side to side. Lengthen your arms. That should feel really nice on your hips after that sequence. That's a really good combination, those stretches. Gets pretty much every area of your legs apart from your inner thighs, which we'll do in a minute. Let's inhale here. Exhale, walk your hands, bring your chest up. Lovely. So relaxing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come round onto your bum. You want your legs um, staggered over to your right hand side. We're going to do a mermaid stretch to loosen out your obliques and also into your shoulder as well. Good lateral flexion for your spine, bit of everything really. Hold on to your ankle. You can also do this with your legs out in front if this is a weird position for you, it depends how your pelvis is. We're going to take your, um, your left arm, <laughs> we're going to inhale, and on your exhale we're going to come up and over so you've got a nice deep stretch all the way down. We're going to inhale, come out of it, and exhale, go into it. So we're doing this as a dynamic stretch, moving in and out of it. Inhale as you come out, exhale as you go in. Really good for mobility as well for your spine. Also your hips sitting in this position, your pelvis. One more time on this side. Inhale, come out. And then we'll just switch the legs around the other side if they're out in front. All you need to do is switch your arm. Hold on to your ankle. And then right arm this time coming up and over on your exhale. Inhale, coming out. And really reach. You might find you'll start loosening up so you can reach a bit further each time. One more. And relax down. Swing your legs around. We're going to come onto your backs now. Um, you can use a band for this next stretch, just this one stretch, if you want to. If you don't have a band, then you can use your hands. So don't worry if you don't have one, or you can use like a rope or anything like that. Anything you can hook your foot into. Right, so on your back, we're going to start with your right leg. You're going to lengthen it out either in a, in a band or just with your hand on your leg. Then with your left leg, you're going to let your knee come out to one side. So you've got a bent leg and then you're going to let your knee come out. Your right leg's going to go out the opposite way. My foot's probably not in the shot anymore, but <laughs> anyway, I might show you. Let's show you this way around. So you've got bent knee out one way, long leg out the other way. What you want to bear in mind is that you're not leaning down to the side with your long leg, because obviously there's more weight pulling you down that side. So you want to keep your pelvis level, your leg out long, and then you're either holding it with your hand or you've got a band, and you're just going to let it sink down until you feel that stretch on your inner thigh, 
and then when it's down as low as you can go you're just going to pull it up towards the side of your body okay so let's just breathe here Nice long deep breaths, really good for opening out the inner hip too. And we're going to inhale, release off a little bit. Exhale, deepen that stretch. And breathe. So if you are doing it with your hands, just place your hand on your inner thigh and you can pull it here. Make sure you relax the glutes as well. You feel that your glute tenses up. And inhale to release off a little bit. Exhale deep in the stretch. Make sure you're still feeling it. Inhale here. Exhale, release it off. Good job. We're going to swap round to the other leg now. Lasso your foot if you have got a band, then you've got your right leg bent, foot on the floor, right knee's going to come out one way, left leg's going to come out the other way, nice and straight without locking the knee out. And then you're going to lower that leg, trying to keep the pelvis level, it's quite tricky to do. And when your leg's as low as it can go, pull it up towards your side. And you should start to feel the stretch on your inner thigh. Deep breaths. Inhale to release. Exhale, deepen that stretch. Try and relax the glute. And one more time, inhale, release. Exhale, deepen. side now let's start on the right hand side we're going to do a chest opener so with your right arm if you bend it and place your head on it so that you're in line rather than having your head on the mat we're going to have your knees and your feet and your hips all stacked so about 90 degrees with your legs we're going to lengthen out your left arm across the floor and inhale on your exhale, you're going to open that arm out, bring your head round and reach behind you, but you want to keep your knees down, so don't let them come up with you. Keep them down so you've got that spinal rotation, you're reaching out behind you, and then exhale, come back down. So inhaling to open out, I might have just said that wrong to start with, so inhale as you open out, stretch behind you, bring your head right round too and then exhaling to close it up. 
And you should feel this stretching down the length of your arm, so maybe in your bicep, also in your chest and the front of your shoulder too. Exhale as you close up. As you go through it, see if you can reach a little bit further behind you. See if you can get your hand down on the floor and check that those knees are staying there. Stretch right back. Let's go for two more. And last one. Lovely, give it a shake. Roll onto your back. We're gonna do a little bit of something before we do the other side. So we're going to do a supine twist, arms are going to be out wide, we're going to bring your knees and your feet together, close the gap, and inhale, oh, on your exhale you're going to lower both knees down to your right hand side. What you want to bear in mind is that you keep your feet and knees stacked, so your left foot will peel up away from the floor, rather than staying behind and staggering your legs. You can also look towards your left hand side. You should feel a nice stretch, quite a gentle stretch in your oblique, outer hip, maybe a little bit in your glute, and you've got your spinal rotation as well, so really good for your back. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, bring the knees to the centre, bring your head there too. Inhale in the centre. Exhale, knees over to your left hand side, look over to your right, keep those feet stacked, make sure you've peeled up. Good. Inhale here. Exhale to the centre. Pause in the centre and inhale. Exhale back over to your first side. Inhale. Exhale, coming back. Make sure your shoulders stay down too whilst you do this. So if you feel like you can't get your knees all the way to the floor without lifting your shoulder, then just let them hang wherever. And keep your shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale to your centre. Okay, so we're going to go back to your first side. Keep your head to the front this time. We're going to lengthen out your left leg, so your top leg, lengthen it out. We're going to grab around your thigh with your right hand and just pull that leg up towards you. You can let the foot come down as close as you can to the floor. Just make sure your shoulders stay down. You can look the opposite way now. And you should feel a stretch in your outer hip and down the outside of that leg. So take a good couple of deep breaths. Really good for sciatica, this stretch. You're stretching out your sciatic nerve. Deep breaths. Let's inhale, exhale, bring the legs back to your centre. Let's do the same on the other side, inhale in the centre, exhale, drop the knees down, and then we'll lengthen your top leg, grab around your thigh, lower the foot towards the floor if you can keep the shoulder down, and then pull up towards your side, keep the leg nice and straight. Look the opposite way, and you should feel this in the outer hip and down the outside length of that leg.
and inhale, and exhale, back to your centre, lovely, lovely, bring your knees into your chest, hold on to your sides rather than your shins, so that you don't add extra pressure to your knees, give it a rock side to side, you should feel really nice and stretched out in the lower body now. Lovely, and then we're going to rock over onto your left hand side now for that chest opening exercise. So find your position. You're going to bend your left arm, place your head on your arm. You want your knees, hips, feet stacked, right arm's going to lengthen out in front of you. And then we're going to inhale to open out. Let your head come round as well. Cradle it with your hand, stretch back, make sure your knees stay down and then exhale, close it up. Inhale to open it out and stretch. You should feel that in your bicep, front of your shoulder and your um, pec, your chest. Exhale to close it up. Make sure you're really reaching each time. Because if you've got a floppy arm, you might not feel anything with this, but you really want to stretch. Good for your shoulder mobility as well. Pretty much all of these stretches are good for mobility of the joint too. All the dynamic moves that we've done. Stretch. Okay, one more. And take it back. Lovely. We're going to push yourself up to seated now. Legs out in front. We're going to do um, spine stretch, which is a Pilates exercise, which stretches your spine, funnily enough, and also your legs. Let's have your legs hip width apart, so a small gap in between your legs, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. We're going to have fingertips either side of your hips, and you want a nice straight back, so shoulders down. Inhale here. On your exhale, we're going to walk your fingertips forward, rounding your spine, so C-shape with your spine, and keep walking until you can't walk anymore, and you've got the nice deep stretch along the backs of your legs. You should also feel it stretch either side of your spine, into your shoulders as well. Let's inhale here. On your exhale, just see if you can walk forward a little bit further. And then we're going to inhale, walk it all the way back. To your nice straight back. Big hair out of your eyes. Exhale, coming down. See if you can go a little bit further. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze, and then inhale to restack. I've got a bit of a hair issue with this one. Exhale, coming down. Try and get a bit further. Inhale, exhale, squeeze on. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, come up. Can we go for two more? Exhale, coming down. Keep those legs nice and straight. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, restack. One more to go. Exhale, coming down. Coming down. Stretch. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, restack. Beautiful. 
Let's come through onto all fours now. So you can cross your legs and bring your body through the middle. And do a little bit for your shoulders and your spine and then we're going to do abdominals before we do a bit of relaxation to finish off. So all fours, we're going to um, push into the mat, knees below your hips, hands below your shoulders, fingers are spread apart. We're going to inhale. On your exhale, you're going to draw a line out in front of the body with your right hand. And then inhale again. On your exhale, you're going to thread that right hand through and bring your shoulder and your ear down to the floor. So you've got your bum stuck up in the air. You should start to feel this in your right shoulder. If you want to deepen it a little bit, you can either push into the mat so you can get an extra little twist round, or you can lengthen this arm, this left arm out in front of you. And that adds an extra stretch into this left sort of armpit, bicep, tricep area. Deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, walk this hand back if it's there, push into it, unhook your right hand, then we're going to inhale, exhale, left arm's going to reach out, inhale here, exhale, thread the needle, bring the ear down, and then you can either push into this hand to get the extra twist, or if you want to get the stretch on your right arm, Lengthen it out in front and press down into the mat. You should feel it stretch in this aerial. Deep breaths. And inhale, exhale, walk that hand back, and push into it, unhook, lovely job. Walk your knees out behind you, we're going to bring your tummy down to the mat and go into cobra for your abdominals, also great for spinal mobility. Let's start with your elbows underneath your shoulders, you want your legs hip width apart, then we're going to inhale and bring your head down towards the mat. You don't have to go all the way down because then it's a bit of an awkward position. Then exhale, you're going to push into your elbows, <laughs> elbows and lift your head up. You want to keep your hips down, relax your glutes, make sure you haven't squeezed them up. And then inhale, coming down. Exhale to lift. Move in time with your breath. If this isn't quite enough of a stretch for you and your back feels okay, then you can push into your hands as you lift. Come up a bit higher, keeping those hips down. Just be mindful of your back, so you shouldn't feel any pressure in your lower back. It depends on your mobility and how tight your back muscles are as well. You can also walk your hands towards your body to get the deeper stretch still. Good job, let's go for a couple more. Keep your shoulders down. Um, well done. Roll onto your back and we're just going to do some breathing to finish off. So get comfortable. You can either have knees bent or legs out long, whatever you prefer. Then you're going to have um, right hand 
on your tummy, left hand on your chest. Close your eyes. And we're going to take a deep inhale for a count of three into your tummy and two into your chest. So you're going to inhale, stick your tummy out. So breathe into your tummy for one, two, three. And then into your chest for one, two. Hold at the top and let it all go out. So you've got three into your tummy. One, two, three, and two into your chest. One, two, so you're gonna fill right up, hold at the top. And let it all go. Into your tummy. One, two, three. Into your chest. One, two. Hold at the top. And exhale. Let's go two more times. Tummy. One, two, three. Into your chest. One, two. Hold at the top. And exhale. Last time. Three into your tummy. One, two, Three, two into your chest. One, two, hold at the top. And release. Take a few normal breaths. and slowly roll onto one side, push yourself up to seated, nice and slowly, cross your legs, take a deep inhale and then exhale and you're done, well done guys, let me know what you think, whether you like that or whether you want me to go back to Pilates. Happy to do a few stretch classes for the next few weeks if you'd like to see more. So let me know. Have a good day. Bye.